YouTube, man. It's your boy Young Dub coming at y'all with another video, man. And today's episode of opening boxes when I got plenty of other boxes to open. <laughs> um, got a new package in. I don't know how long ago how long ago I ordered a um, spool of full tilt audio wire uh, from Explicit Audio. Um, call me crazy, man. I don't know. I just, I live by this. And if you're into SPL, big bass, heavy systems, the whole nine, you should live by this um, quote as well. Your system is only as strong as its weakest link, man. So uh, y'all could call me going nuts for ordering wire on top of wire, but um, that is what's in here. Um, should be a spool of 50, um, zero gauge, 50 feet wire man so uh let me go ahead and rip into the top of this and see what i got myself into but i just i know i got i got a lot of wire and i've ordered a lot of wire but i don't want to mess around and come up short because um i'm trying to save money save wire salvage some old wire stuff like that man so i figured let me just go ahead and get everything that i need uh so the day that i decide to get back under my truck and get the power runs going everything will be squared away man so uh there we are we got some zero gauge mvx wire man give me just a second i'm gonna get this out and put her down on the table all right so here we go a spool of 50 feet of mvx zero gauge man y'all know i've got plenty of mvx wire um I guess I, should. <laughs> I probably should have moved the camera stand up a little bit here, man. But yeah, uh, so just a 50 foot spool of the zero gauge wire. Give me just a second. I have to, I'm going to go ahead and tilt that up a bit. Uh, so, um, yeah, I know I usually try to wait until I get ready to install things to take stuff out of the packaging, but why the hell not? So, thank you for purchasing from MVX. Happy with our product, yada, 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 yada. I don't think there's one thing y'all can tell. Uh, yes, obviously I'm affiliated with MVX. However, big SPL, one thing I will do is keep it real about some products and things like that, man. So if I'm messing around and rolling with MVX, obviously you should take a look at them as well, man. So uh, 50 foot spool, um, one out 50 feet, y'all know it's silver 10 wire. Matter of fact, let me do this. Oh, yeah, I can take this off here. I got this. Well, I'm probably not. Well, I don't know. I believe I got, I think I got a little five foot, well, five foot um, piece of their zero gauge black wire. I've got a ton of wire right here. Matter of fact, I gotta move all of this stuff, man. I just bought this. Yes, I think I did show in another video. I bought a, another uh, hydraulic crimp tool uh, for the bigger runs, but for these uh, zero gauge options, man, this um, Pittsburgh, obviously uh, Harbor Freight, goes up to zero gauge, man, so it should work. I had one of my buddies, um, he had one of these, and he did um, zero gauge car audio wire Crimping with one hand. That other hydraulic tool, I definitely can't crimp with one hand. So, yeah, I'm gonna pause this because this thing keeps rolling and there is a ton. Because if I try to grab this while I'm recording, it's not gonna sound too great. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna pause this, man. Give me just a second because I just grabbed the full. Oh, set you down. This stuff is heavy, man. This is heavy too with this. Is there a different type of 50 feet, man? Uh, but give me just a second, man. I'm gonna grab the other zero gauge wire and let me, I guess, do a little comparison. Why the hell not? Just a moment. All right, y'all, so I got everything set up. Uh, like I said, man, we just got in this 50 foot spool of the MVX uh, black wire and I still forgot the damn black wire. Um, so, I think, yeah, matter of fact, that black wire is out of my truck and I'm, I'm definitely not fixing to run outside to grab that. 
but nevertheless. Uh, so, most recently I just bought this 50 foot uh, spool of the Full Tilt Audio Wire. Uh, obviously that's one I, uh, OFC 10, uh, 5100 strands. Now, when it comes to MVX, uh, hopefully, let me see here. See, there should be two ends, there we go. So when it comes to MVX wire, uh, they have it on here as well. Um, 4704, and this is silver tinned as well. Uh, so I don't know. I guess you can see a little bit more in that full tilt. Let me try to get them back in the light here. Damn it. <laughs> Flexible wire, man, but it still runs away on you a little bit, man. But yeah, I guess you can see uh, that full tilt does have just a little bit more wire in there. So I'll give them the edge on that. Uh, but when it comes to pricing, man, so y'all know, obviously I got the discount code Audi15. 15% off all orders, $25 and up. When it comes to pricing, even if you were to pay full price out of pocket, this stuff here is worth the ticket, man. So, yeah, you can see it just a little bit more wire in that full tilt audio. Uh, let's see, I got this power, or sky high power, sky high car audio. Um, power wire, ground wire, whichever way you want to use it, man. So to me, the Sky High Car Audio and the MVX seem to be about the same strand length or same strand amounts. Um, you can, like I said, you can see just a tad bit more uh, wire in the full tilt audio. It's not significant, uh, but you can't see it. You can't do it with the eyeball. And since we're at it, I went ahead and grabbed um, the GP car audio wire as well. So, yeah, to me, that's not even a comparison. Uh, let's see. MVX, where you go? Right here. So, they're all the same, about the same type of deal, man. So, at the end of the day, zero gauge is zero gauge. Uh, obviously, you got some that give you a little bit more, some give you a CCA. That's a lot of CCA in that doggone jacket, man, but. Y'all know, I just, this was some stuff that I was experimenting with uh, as far as the CCA wire. And yeah, obviously, I got the pur purple and the blue. Just wanted to get some different colors. But um, with the Tech Flex stuff like that, man, it really doesn't matter what color your wires is, man. Uh, if you're going to put something like Tech Flex over on it, you can do whatever color you want. Because uh, at the end of the day, old school reference. Um, some people go, you know, obviously go black for ground, red for power. Uh, I go Skittles. <laughs> so I get everything possible uh, that I can do to play with here, man. So, uh, like I said, I got, and then at the end of the day, if I really want to go crazy, which, yes, I've, I've gone crazy. I'll give y'all that, but I want to grab this stuff too, because this is all my 3.0. Uh, welding cable from the freaking uh, Impala before I got in an accident. Obviously, this stuff was going to run uh, the Wolfram 9K and the mids and highs, man. I'll just leave it at that because I don't even remember uh, that. That's, that's been driving me nuts because I've been thinking about that for the past couple days ever since um, I've been planning on putting my truck together. I'm like, what the hell was I going to do in that Impala? And maybe I need to go through and watch my own damn channel again. That's and that's another reason why I do these videos, uh, so I can have something to, something to refer to um, when I'm doing all of this. I can kind of go back and say, "Oh yeah, I was going to put that in my truck." And furthermore, oh, can't. <laughs> still can't move this crate because there's so much wire in here. I still got this here. The PRV uh, double zero, the two watt, 100% oxygen free copper. Y'all know how I do, man. Uh, so we still got that. We still got a nice little strand of this. Um, Temco 40, which obviously, if you've been following the channel, I use this for the grounds. And 
as I stated in the previous video, when I bought that uh, full tilt audio wire, PRV, I give them their props because they did say it was like, hey, you know, if you buy a 50 foot spool, it uh, doesn't mean that it's going to be 50 feet continuous. Uh, the NVX, as far as I know, that's continuous. As far as I know, that full tilt audio wire uh, is continuous as well. I would pull all of this stuff out, but at this end of the day, I got a basically a milk crate and I got more wire. Ow, I just hit myself on the table. I got more wire and I go down in here again. Oh crap, I'm knocking all kind of crap over now. I got more wire. And at the end of the day, even with all this 4 odd, 0 gauge, 3 0, and the whole 9, I still got more wire in here. Let's see. I've got 8 gauge, um, what is this, new concepts, um, various strands of 8 gauge from excess power. Oh, uh, where's the writing at? Should be right there. Yeah, I'm beating the hell out of my camera stand. Yeah, so excess power. I got wire for days, y'all. And even at the end of the day, uh, let's see. We got some sky high. This was in the bag, so it's got this plastic wrapped it. Sky high OFC four gauge. That think that's from the Malibu. And I got four odd welding cable. <laughs> So y'all got to, I'm dead serious when I say I got, I'm not, um, this welding cable is probably, ooh, man, this is probably like freaking maybe 12 feet, 13 feet, something like that. So I got, I've got wire for days. I just, um, I'll get, oh crap. <laughs> so obviously, yeah, I got a lot of wire, um, kind of hard to manage. And then this here. So hopefully y'all just seen that on camera. I'll start cutting this stuff and screwing with it and put it in temporary setups. Uh, as far as installs and things like that, man, that's what happens. I start getting like all these things. I got all these various cuts of wire, uh, either from previous installs or from temporary installs that I do. And I'll say, okay, well now that I've, you know, I kind of got the sound of some, if I'm trying new speakers, I want to get the sound out of them. Like those, um, let me grab them here these super tweeters that I just did I'll mess around and hook those up with various strands of wire and then I'll say okay I'm good to go on them let me install them and I'll go from there and even at the end of the day when I got all of this four gauge eight gauge and up wire I've got tons and I do mean tons of sky high car audio 12 gauge full tilt audio 8 gauge full tilt audio 12 gauge some depth bonds, I think that's 12 gauge. So yeah, so I go living by that, living by that phrase, y'all. Your system is only as strong as its weakest link, man. So yeah, all these little knickknacks and terminals and wire and all that type of stuff. Yeah, we like, we all like big subs, big amps, uh, big bass, loud speakers, the whole nine, man. But at the end of the day, it takes power to make power, man. So you gotta have some of that good old oxygen-free copper and go from there, man. So, <laughs> even though PRV is right in your face, and I got wire falling all over the place, uh, where you at? So I can just find a strand of some MVX wire. There we go. Y'all know the deal. Any questions, comments, concerns, get at me, man. I'll try to get back to everybody. And we'll put it right there. Obviously, MVX. <laughs> Audi 15, man. O U T T Y one five Audi fifteen. It is fifteen percent off all orders, twenty five dollars and up, over at nvx.com. Obviously, go get you some power wire. Go get you some subwoofers. I think they're still out of stock right now. Uh, obviously, those will be coming back in soon. But you can get you some speakers, power wire, ground wire, amp kits, the whole nine. They got those full, full bridge amps. So go over there and go crazy, man. Yeah, why I need you to stay off my damn camera stand. So, yeah, man, y'all head over to NVX, get you some stuff, man. I think that'll be it. Way, and I do mean way more videos coming soon. Maybe with some audio pipe. 
<laughs> Y'all stay tuned, man. It's your boy Young Dub. I'm outie. Wire freak going nuts. Oh, and P.S. Yeah, this is just gonna be done on my phone right quick, man. Uh, so the audio, I don't know how good the audio is on this. But at the end of the day, uh, y'all see all this wire. What I didn't didn't include on this, I still got a 20-foot run, a ProStar 4 out wire, and I still got a 20-foot run of the black Temco wire that's just like this here. But at the end of the freaking day, if y'all see this right here, that still on that spool and this MVX right here still on this spool just like this freaking video and tell me to get my ass in gear because basically what's going to happen is if that stuff is still on the spool obviously I haven't gotten around to working on the truck yet this power wire that should be installed uh, I got it's way over that way but I went and got four new uh, packages of uh I can't see it from over here, but I got four more packages of the zip ties, uh, 100 pound, 180 pounds or whatever the hell it is, uh, zip ties to hold this stuff up in the truck, man. So if y'all still see this in any video going forward, dislike the freaking video, man. Now I'm out of here.